Hey guys, today at Bombing Science, we're gonna try out some mops. We have five different mops with us here today. First one is the two ounce black ink mop by Block by Block. Afterwards, we have the Crank K60 paint mop. Two mops by Grog, the squeezers, 10 FMP and 10 BPI. And also the Covers All Drip Stick by Molotov. First off, the Block by Block mop, the biggest of the five we have today. Very good for nice, big, juicy tags. Although you really need to keep the right amount of pressure on it for the tag to stay steady. Um, very opaque, but just like anything that's quite opaque, you have to shake it very well to keep the uh, pigment and the ink well mixed. And uh, yeah, definitely keep it on a, maybe on a smoother surface. The nib feels like it might rip apart quite fast on something rough. All right, second on the list is the Crank Paint Mop. Uh, versus the other one, this is not an ink, this is a paint. Uh, probably my favorite out of the five, uh, considering that uh, when you get a color like this, it's very, it's a paint, it's quite opaque. You can use it just on a light surface, on a dark surface. Um, it's more versatile overall. And even on something that's rough, I feel like the nib is quite strong. And um, I mean, just with like, by keeping it with the right angle, you could probably like hit a good, nice flowy tag without ripping your, uh, your nib apart in the first five tags. Also, definitely the strongest light fastness, especially medium colors like this that uh, aren't like a strong black, will have a tendency to uh, last a lot longer when exposed to sun. Also, can't forget, it's uh, very, very, very like steady when it comes to the flow. Um, I mean, you could also have something like a very drippy tag or you can go with something, you know, more dry and you can easily control it. It's just like the squeezability of the marker is just great. Afterwards, we have the two grog squeezers. Now, the difference between the 10 BPI and the 10 FMP is simply the content. Um, in this one here, we have a like a really strong bluish ink that has more of a transparency also to it, which is not a bad thing. Actually, I think it's a great thing. Um, so when you're on a light colored surface and you, you really see kind of the, the dark blue pop out when it's opaque, and you also see the gestural and the, the, the expression in your line and in your movement, which I think is something beautiful when it comes to tagging in the streets. So that kind of exposes that. Um, and yeah, it just has that nice permanent color. So especially on something that's um, porous, this will probably stay a long, long time. Indoors, of course, wouldn't recommend tagging somewhere in the sun with this. Yeah, definitely a preference for um, inks like this one here where you can have that kind of transparent effect where you have a, like a darker color at some place and lighter color popping out in some places. And you see also the expression of the line depending on how much it drips. Uh, I think that's a huge advantage. So you find that with uh, this ink especially and, a, and also with the block by block controlling the flow that you can get a very stiff line see down here uh, you got something very stiff but also something very fluid and you can play around with that I think that's a plus but you know to be taken in consideration on what style you're trying to get all right so same thing here great marker great nib um, now when it comes to the paint in here it's a very fluid black ink um, very drippy um, but the marker is also stiff so it keeps you kind of from over dripping but yeah, both the great markers, probably less permanent on something like metal that wouldn't be necessarily washed where it comes more to like over time. Um, I'm guessing a rust paint like this is definitely um, resistant uh, to time, just obviously not in the sun. Um, so yeah, that would be about the Grog Squeezer. Last but not least, the Molotow covers all drip stick. Great mop, huge advantage. You can fill it by the other side so you don't get your hands all dirty trying you know, uh, trying to take the nib off and also you don't you less chance of you ruining your nib. I mean this is the type of marker that you can uh, bring some extra ink uh, with you on the way and you can easily fill it up on the run uh, without getting dirty. When it comes to the ink, it's very fluid, uh, so very drippy, but it's also very uniform and constant. So no matter if you're going really fast or tagging slowly, uh, the line's going to stay quite the same width and it's going to be the same opacity. Uh, now of course it's an ink, um, a very strong black ink, probably very permanent on something that's porous. Um, I would recommend tagging on something smoother, again, because it's, uh, it's a mop, so the tips can be delicate, but I've tried it on a rougher surface and it was also excellent. So finally, all these mops, great products. Um, Obviously, keep in mind they're mops. Uh, I prefer them to markers, but the nibs would be, you know, tend to last not as long. Um, although you can get great big tags, you can fit into tight spaces, um, but you can also go big with things like this. You know, you can take the drips into consideration. They take up surface. They take up space. 
great choice of colors in many of these, um, especially I'd say these two. Um, I have a big preference for uh, neutral colors, as in uh, something that's not too dark, not too light, because it enables you to hit both light and dark surfaces. And also having special colors like reds and blues pop out from the from the ordinary white and black and chrome tags. Um, although. There's, it's not for no reason that we do use colors that are dark and light because they obviously pop more when it comes to writing on the, the right surface. Um, speaking of surfaces, that's the most important thing here is that no matter what product you're using, um, there's no product that can be like considered, I think, best because it's always depending on what you're using. It. It's, not, it's not just what you're using, but where, so and what you're doing and how you're tagging. So, um, I mean, I would recommend every single one of you try each one and figure out Personally, which one is your favorite? Um, keep in mind, big and juicy, long lasting, and I'd say overall more versatile, easy to fill, very fluid. Probably the most beautiful of the inks. And um, yeah, just overall versatile, good squeezer.